Merry Christmas everybody! I just finished doing my makeup. Obviously today is Vlogmas Day 25 and yeah it's about 11 o'clock and I woke up pretty early this morning and you know just chilled in bed with my heating blanket because it was 50 degrees in my house so I did that and watched The Modern Family and yeah just did my makeup. I need to figure out my hair. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. The center part not really working. I've got bobby pins in right now. That's the only way the bangs are being held back. I think I'm gonna try some like dry shampoo up in there to like get it to hold and then we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. I don't leave for my grandma's for another like two hours or so so I'm gonna eat some food and yeah it's gonna be my day. I'm just chilling this morning. Um, I, I think it's okay, like it's a little bit better this year than I think it was last year for me waking up on Christmas by myself. Um, last year I woke up in someone else's house. I mean it was a child childhood friend's mom's house so it's not like it wasn't it was a stranger's house or anything but just waking up in someone else's house on Christmas morning alone was really strange um a little less strange this year I think even though I'm still waking up on Christmas alone and I don't open presents or anything and I probably won't get presents like I just don't do presents that much I guess my brain thought it would be funny if it gave me an aura migraine. I haven't had one of these in months and it's mostly passed now or at least the blindness part of it has mostly passed but it's really like hard to keep my eyes open um, because I was just like laying here in the dark. Well, as dark as it can get in my room. This is as dark as it gets. <laughs> my dad and stepmom are running late anyway and I don't, I'm not gonna get there until they get there so he said he's gonna just tell me when he leaves and they live an hour away so they still haven't left yet so I still have time to like relax and stuff. Um, and I took a bunch of ibuprofen and uh, drank a lot of water, I ate some food, um, but then it like hit and I was like, oh my man, why, why? It's been like literal months, maybe like over six months since this has happened. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I used to talk about it before, about getting aura migraines and they're so miserable because you go blind. Like I actually, parts of my vision are gone and it's the weirdest thing ever so all I have all I can do is like just lay down with my eyes closed anyway I'm just gonna lay here for a little bit longer it's like what time is it it's 12 30 and we're all supposed to be there at one but since you know everyone's running a little late I'm like well I'm gonna take advantage of this and just lay down for a little while and let this headache go away because it's just so painful guys just got home a little bit of go i'm sorry i got like a little emotional in the car and stuff it's just that today's like the hardest day of the year for me and it's really hard not seeing your family a lot and i really hope they don't see this but when it's such a family holiday and that's the only day that you see them it just you know it it's hard it's a really hard time of year for me both it just mentally i always get seasonal affective disorder um and i i honestly don't know if it's attributed to the weather because that's what sad it is is it has to do with the weather and you're not getting enough light um but i don't know if that's it i think it honestly it comes down to a lot of events that have occurred like in the winter time and also the lack thereof lack of events that have occurred over the years, um, especially the last like 10, 15 years, I'd say. So I think it's just like the weather and this time of year just reminds me of all of that. And so it just, it gets really hard. Um, the weather doesn't help, mind you, like the, it go, being dark at 4.30 every day is really hard on me because I'm such a lazy person. And so if I don't have daylight, I think it's nighttime and therefore I'm done for the day when the sun goes down. And so it's really, it really impacts my emotional emotionalness and also my productivity level. So all of that combined just makes for a really hard time of year. I'm gonna be okay though. I'm gonna make some food and stuff and um, watch some of my show and just enjoy the evening by myself with my children. They honestly mean the world to me. Like thank God I have them because they are my world and I know that's really sad for some of you, I'm sure, but they really help me not feel lonely. So if any of you have issues with feeling lonely, I know pets seem like an obvious solution to that, but they help me so much and I don't know what I would do without them. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog though here. I'm sorry that it's such an emotional day for me and I didn't get to film a lot. Um, it's just, you know, it's one of those things. I can't film a lot there and I don't want to and it's just like a private, 
family thing for me, so I just wanted to enjoy it. So I hope you guys can forgive me. Today's the worst Vlogmas day probably ever, but we still have a couple more days, luckily, to redeem myself. Today is not the end, which I know a lot of the vloggers you guys watch for Vlogmas have already, <coughs> have already ended Vlogmas today, so you'll get more videos from me. I'm gonna go all the way till New Year's, um, probably New Year's Eve, and that's where I'm gonna end so it. If you guys uh, kind of enjoyed today's vlog, I mean, I'm just keeping it real with you guys, and you know, I try not to cry on camera, but you know, it's just really hard. So um, yeah, I just want you guys to feel like you're not alone and not everyone has a perfect holiday and not everyone has a perfect Christmas or whatever you celebrate of the year. It's just, it's really hard for those of us who aren't necessarily close with our families. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you tomorrow.